Today, we're gonna to talk about how to start a coding project. Deluded Penguin asks, how do I start a project? I've had a number of false starts in programming, always wanting to learn, but always getting held up at some stage of the process. At the beginning, with a blank text file, I don't know how to start. When presented with a problem situation, how do programmers start to break it down? Okay, so first you gotta identify your problem and know what you're trying to achieve. So you identify the thing like, I wanna do a payment calculator for overtime. Um, so the first thing I would say is, in the 20 years I've been doing this, very few times, but maybe a couple of times, but very few, I'm ever presented with a problem that hasn't already been solved in some other form or fashion. And so the first thing you can do is go look at what other people have done and see that's maybe similar to your problem, may not exactly like it, but you can look at some other work that other people have done, and that'll give you a cue on the UI. The second thing you can do is, after you have your UIs built, is first use it and try to enter it in to see if it makes sense to you and maybe give it to a friend or whatever. Hey, does this make sense? Is this how you expect this to work? Um, and when you're solving your actual business problem, um, one of the things when you talked about a, a blank text file, so I'm assuming you're using PHP or something like that, Take this as a tip, um, especially when you're learning and you're just starting out, use a design pattern. And so a design pattern is something like MVC model view controller. And what the design patterns do is go ahead and do some of the plumbing for you so that you can have a web page up and running really quickly, um, where uh, code blocks are already put out to you so you know where to place your code to solve your business problem. And so we do that with ASP.NET, C Sharp, and MVC. And that will teach you or get you going really quickly. It's rapidly, um, it's called rapid prototyping. You just start up a project in Visual Studio and bam, you've got a web page up and running. And now you just need to write the code to solve the business problem in your case, like a payment calculator for overtime in your controllers or whatever like that. You can look at someone else's work and then you can also maybe form your UI off that. The second thing I would say is when you're building a project is, and I think Bill Gates coined this term, is eat your own dog food, which is like, Microsoft early on, probably in the late 80, late 90s, and probably say still today, but like um, they would have some kind of problems with things they would release. And I think Bill Gates was famously going down to say, hey, we need to eat our own dog food, which means, hey, let's use the stuff that we build to build things. Um, let's make sure we test it, let's, let's improve quality. So you need to make sure that you can your thing is actually usable by you and the real world. Start creating something, what I call an SRS, which is sit down and think about your problem, and lay out the steps that you think are necessary to achieve that. First off, you start, what does it need to do? What is the form and the function? What's that layout? And then the steps that you can do to complete those. And you can start with the UI, you can start with the database schema, and lay out what it needs to do, and then follow that plan to completion to build it. But I think the best thing you need to do to avoid the blinking cursor on the white line is to follow a design pattern and get that quickly start. And there's a lot of those templates out there. Um, EBC being very popular in web dev, but you can do that with um, .NET, C Sharp, and ASP.NET. Um, Visual Studio Community, you can download it for free, hit a template, and you have a project um, stubbed out for you right away. Anyway, I hope this helps a lot, but whatever you do, good luck and keep coding. If you like that, I've created five steps to getting your first job as a software developer. Go to coderfoundry.com slash job roadmap and we lay out the five steps necessary to get that first job as a software developer. And if you like this video, please subscribe to get more videos just like it.